And something else we're tracking for you is the future of New York's farms. The state is considering dropping the overtime threshold for farm workers from 60 hours down to 40 hours. That's up to a state wage board convened by the Department of Labor. You'll remember we went deep into that issue during our Future of Work series here on New York Now. And now the wage board has started its work on the issue, holding the first of three public hearings on the question. Take a look. It's round two for New York's farms. The state will soon decide if farm workers should now be paid overtime at 40 hours instead of the current 60 hours. The same question came up last year, but a wage board convened by the state kicked the can down the road until now. State Labor Commissioner Roberta Reardon. As you receive public testimony, you are encouraged to take heed and understand the lessons learned in the past year as farmers and farm laborers have been forced to adapt to the unpredictability of the COVID-19 pandemic. It boils down to one question. Is lowering the overtime threshold for farm workers the right thing to do? And could farms pay for it if that happens? John Dickinson, a dairy farmer who chairs the Northeast Dairy Producers Association, said that even post-pandemic, the added cost would be unsustainable. To change it to 40 would be a cultural change. And I, and I don't, not, no business can afford to pay overtime on a third of their employee hours. No business, regardless of what kind of industry it is. But workers who testified before the wage board were mixed on the change. Farmers against a lower overtime threshold have said they'd have to cap hours at 40 a week to avoid the new cost. That's bad news for workers who want as many hours as possible, like a lot of seasonal staff. But other workers say it would be a huge relief. Carlos Cardona has worked on a dairy farm in New York for the last 11 years. 5 a.m. I leave to work and I come back after 6. I only spent half an hour, an hour and a half with my kids. Then back to rest to get up in the morning next day. And while most farmers who testified were against the change, some came out in support. Todd Cavallo makes wine and cider in the Hudson Valley, and he says that farm workers deserve the same overtime standards as everyone else. There is no other industry in New York that sets overtime at 60 hours. I know that we can figure this out, and I think that everyone should be able to operate in a way that is um, fair to them and is fair to the workers uh, in New York State. For a lot of farmers, it's not that simple. The price of some goods, like milk, is set by the government, so it's tough to grow revenue. Mike McMahon is a dairy farmer from Cortland County. His workers produce 22 million pounds of milk every year. And he said that he's afraid he'll lose workers if he can't afford to pay them more in overtime. Many of our employees are long, long-term and loyal but they are here to make money. And if their earnings decrease because we must reduce their hours to control costs, they will seek greener pastures in other states. There's also the option of a phase-in, meaning the overtime threshold would go down, but over a number of years. Laura Colligan, a vegetable farmer from Erie County, said that would help farmers adapt to the new cost while handing workers new rights over time. I support bringing the overtime threshold for farm work down to 40 hours per week, but I'd urge the wage board to do so more gradually, slowly bringing the threshold down from 60 to 40 hours in multiple steps and with ample warning.